Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today guys we're going to be working on a 2001 Big Buck car hauler. So this Big Buck trailer is the 16 footer uh, dual axle. It can carry a lot of weight. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's rated for. I'll try and find out and put that here. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. We've had it in the family ever since 2001. We've got a lot of use out of it, hauling logs up to the mountains to build a cabin. Uh, numerous cars that we've bought and sold, broke down, etc., etc. So this trailer has a lot of uses for us, and it is not in very good shape, as you can see. It is just dry rotting, falling apart. Uh, you can't even step on it, or else you'll fall through. So it'll be nice to have this thing on the road again. Uh, I've got a Jeep that I need to go pick up tomorrow. So to get it back on the road, I need to take this trailer to the lumber yard one last time. All right, here are our 16 footers. They are pressure treated. Uh, we bought 11 of them, 10 eight inchers and one six incher for the middle. All right, now it's time to start ripping this thing apart. With as rotten as it is, it's pretty easy to actually take this thing apart. Where the wood is mounted to the decking, the screws are actually rusted and just falling apart. So as soon as you pull up on the wood, everything just kind of falls apart and comes apart. It should be pretty easy. Some of the mounting screws were actually still in pretty good, so I had to cut them out with an angle grinder. Well, luckily I didn't catch anything on fire. And here are the mounting screws. These I'm going to have to cut off. Here I found a little nest of hitchhikers. Luckily this is an old nest and they weren't around. I ended up having to trim a little bit off of the boards. These 16 footers were a little bit too long by about uh, three inches. So I ended up with a few boards that were a little bit warped. I'm gonna show you how to straighten them out.
So here we are with the last board. I think my math may have been off a little bit. It doesn't quite fit. So I've got to trim it down. So here it is, the finished product. I've got a few more bolts that I need to install. Other than that, it is done and ready to go. And speaking of bolts, I initially tried to use a similar replacement for the screws. They were just garbage. I did not have any luck with them, so I went with the carriage bolts. All right, now this trailer is road ready. Now let's go pick up the next project. It'll be a 1989 Jeep Wrangler. So if you're a Jeep fan, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of work to it. 